Stay here. We'll wait. It's important that he feels comfortable with his first contact. It's his move. Not ours. Yes, I did. I'd like you to meet Vincent Nagel. This is Detective David Hume. Detective? Hey. Mr. Nagel is the new head of security for recall. What happened to Richard Collector? My former superior, Mr. Collector, has suffered a stress-related disability. Former superior. Well, congratulations. That must put you in a better parking space, but... Doesn't really tell us what happened to Collector. He's on open-ended medical leave. Recall has a lunar retreat on the Sea of Tranquility. He'll be convalescing there. Convalescing? Well, tell Dick I'm sorry the job just didn't work out for him. We have more immediate concerns. Last night, an Uber Braun engineer was killed. Shot through the chest with a particle beam weapon. An Uber Braun engineer? What does that have to do with recall security? The man in question was a Mr. Joseph Granger, an acquaintance of mine. In fact, he had asked to meet me last night. When I arrived at the designated meeting point, I found him dead. Where was this meeting point? In an alley on Tier 18, four blocks from the waterfront. I've already sent forensics over there. You always have meetings in an alleyway? He was worried about some internal security matters at Uber Braun in his own department. I assume he wanted my advice on that. I can't be sure. I knew Mr. Granger socially, that is to say, not extremely well. I'll be more than happy to turn over any e-com detailing my brief dealings with him. Of course, those will be complete and intact. Detective, you will remember that I came to the CPV to offer whatever assistance I could. Nobody made me do that. Nobody ever could have. We hope to have a more open relationship with Mr. Nagel than we had with Collector. Hmm. Gentlemen, I must get back to my office. If I can be of any further assistance, please don't hesitate to contact me. Whatever he's selling, we don't want any. Well, we're going to accept this new attitude in the spirit in which it was intended until we have reason to believe otherwise. Okay. So what, you got, uh, you got Recall and you got Uber Braun. I mean, the obvious is this guy, uh, 
Granger. Granger is selling uh, company secrets, right? That's one possibility. We find out who killed Granger, we've got the why. This is a murder investigation. Everything we know about the man is in here. You were to see Mr. Leland at Uber Braun offices in Southtown. He was Granger's former boss. Leland is head of all research and development. Apparently, Granger's project folded a week or so ago, pending reorganization. All Martians eat up. Martians hoist them and pass. They hoist them to the state mass. This one. Oh, you'd be very happy. That's an ancient artifact found in a rare element deposit in a mine on Mars. How ancient? Oh, very old. Older than the sun, maybe, they say. Uh-huh. Are you married? Yes. Put this under your bed, and you and your husband will make love like tigers. You know, in the season, tigers have sex 50 times a day. What does this crystal or whatever it is have to do with tigers? You said it was from Mars. Yes, absolutely, yes. It may be that there were tigers on Mars a very long time ago, which nobody now remembers. Think about it. It must be so. What reason does he have to lie? We'll take it. David. Your husband, yes? The influence is very strong. With this under your bed, you will make love like tigers. Enough with the tigers. Thanks. Thank you. What's so important you had to see me outside the office? doing some work at Uber Braun. What kind of work? So your company was killed last night, uh, Joseph Granger, you know? I recognize the name. Granger headed a research effort, classified, of course, but rumor has it his work was in the area of performance enhancement. I can't believe they assigned you this investigation. Don't they know your wife works at Uber Braun? Mm -hmm. I don't believe there's gonna be any conflict. Well, I signed a security oath, David. I break it, I lose my job. I would never ask you to compromise your oath, you know. I know you wouldn't ask me to compromise my oath, but if I knew something and you were in any danger... It's gonna be okay, all right? It's not like you have to worry about blurting something out in your sleep, because with the new magic crystal, well, there's not gonna be a lot of sleeping. David! All right, I gotta go. Follow me and I'm gonna have to kill you. Barbara Raymond. David Hume. Here to steer you through the confusion. Ian Park. We're completing the shutdown of what was Mr. Granger's division. It's been official almost a week now, but it takes time to wind something down this size. Did you work with Mr. Granger, Miss Raymond? Was this your division, too? No, I'm officially public relations, but part of my duties included acting as media liaison for Mr. Granger's project. Why are they shutting the project down? It's my understanding that results didn't measure up to company expectations. Sorry, I can't be any more specific than that. Someone had mentioned they'd spent as much as $500 million on the project. I don't know where you get your figures from, Detective. You want to tell me? You want to confirm the number? I'm afraid I can't. Then where it came from really doesn't matter, does it? Let me take you directly to Mr. Granger's lab. contains a complete personnel list for Granger's division, including all home data. Well, that ought to come in handy when we call people at night and ask them, hey, did you kill Granger? I was asked to provide you with the information, Detective. It's up to you how you use it. So well did you know Joseph Granger? Not well. Why? It may be that Mr. Granger was killed for reasons unconnected with his work at Uber Braun. One possible example would be aberrant sexual behavior. To the best of your knowledge, did Mr. Granger engage in any deviant behavior or sinister eccentricities? I'm sorry. Sinister eccentricities? 
I'm afraid I have to leave you here right now. You can reach me on the interoffice calm if you have any further questions. Thank you. Are you related to Olivia Hume? My wife. Really? We were quite good friends when I covered her division. So hi to her for me. I'll do that. Sinister eccentricities. A little wordy, but I like how you got to the point. Thank you, David. I wish to be as clear as possible without giving a detailed uh, description, possibly offensive to certain sensibilities of specific sexual behavior. I have noticed that many humans find it uncomfortable to discuss such behavior openly. I refer to such practices, of course, as using a Martian tickler as it's Bar. called on... Yes, David? Open the door. Yes, David. I got nothing here. How you doing in front of that appointment book? I'm still attempting to break the data encryption system, David. This is odd. It's blank. What files I can access seem to belong more to Recall's field of expertise than Uber Bronze. There are various designs for devices to broadcast artificial experience. It's like a recall vacation or memory implant, right? Yes. It is essentially a modification of old technology. Could someone have decrypted Granger's data before us and deleted the file? It is unlikely that anyone else could break this encryption. Five. Startle you. We need to talk. What's with all the secrecy? This is your company, right? Were you able to decrypt the data stored on the computer? My partner seems to have made some progress. Why? Joe told me he was working on something very high powered, something very secretive. Did you find anything? Joe. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you and Mr. Granger were that close. We went out a couple of times. Joe didn't want anyone to know. Uber Braun has a policy that prohibits people doing classified work dating anyone not properly cleared. He didn't want me subjected to that kind of scrutiny. I was considerate of him. Look, Joe was scared. He was worried something was going to happen to him. Did he ever say why? Only that it had something to do with a project codenamed Echelon. Did you find any Echelon files? You believe them to be in this computer here? They have to be. This is where he worked. He practically lived here. His work is what got him killed. Echelon is what got him killed. Are you going to help me find it? Why are you putting yourself on the line like this? I want you to find whoever killed Joe. Was there someone in particular you were planning to implicate? Call for female security. I want this woman body searched before you take her access cards and remove her from the building. Who are you? My name is Leland. You're Granger's boss. And Miss Raymond's. You would be Detectives Hume and Favre. I assume it was Miss Raymond who has given you unauthorized access to this facility. Unauthorized. Miss Raymond had direct instructions to bring you immediately to my office upon arrival here. Instructions she chose to ignore. You may consider yourself suspended pending termination. You may also wish to begin looking for a good criminal lawyer. Take her out of here. Please, don't interfere. 
Mr. Leland, I, I can explain all of this. No, you can't. Gentlemen, if you would follow me. I don't feel like we're done here. I feel that you are. We'll take this up with Lieutenant Arenthal. I trust you have your own transportation. And so you took Miss Raymond's word for it. Do you really think that Uberbron would allow you unsupervised access to restricted areas? Let you poke around in classified projects? We had no reason to distrust your Miss Raymond. Oh, no? Well, what about the reasons I just gave you? Not to mention I spoke directly with your lieutenant myself. Your orders were to report to my office at Uberbron immediately upon arrival. Or didn't he tell you that? He did. But we naturally assumed that Miss Raymond was acting according to your instructions. Mr. Leland, Uberbron personnel records show that 610 people worked under Granger's direction for a period of two years. We can find no evidence that any work at all was accomplished during that period. What work Mr. Granger was or was not doing for Uberbron is Uberbron's concern. Yours is to find out who killed him. And that being said, why did Uberbron cancel Granger's research? That decision was taken before Mr. Granger was killed. And the reasons for it will remain confidential. Do you understand that, Detective? You bet. Good. Now, I must reiterate, Lieutenant, I want these men removed from the investigation. And after what happened today, whoever you choose to replace them with will not be permitted on Uberbron property. Duly noted. Excellent. Then we're agreed. Let's just back up. I will be sending these two gentlemen home for the evening. Tomorrow, they will be conducting interviews outside Uberbron. Mm. Well, I should let you know that in all likelihood, we'll be proceeding with formal charges against Miss Raymond. And if she implicates these men in the slightest, I'll be pressing charges against them as well. You know anything about a project called Echelon? Nothing. Is that a nothing as in I'm not at liberty to discuss it at this time, or is that a nothing as in I'm brain dead? Lieutenant. I thought I would go through the personnel files that Miss Raymond prepared for our interviews tomorrow. Good idea. They will have a surveillance tape of everything that happened in Granger's office today. What did happen there? Before Leland came in, you saw something. What'd you see? It's not a question of what I saw, David, so much as how I saw it. There appeared to be disturbances in the computational aspects regulating my field of vision. Whether or not Miss Raymond faces charges, she will certainly lose her job. Losing that job may not be such a bad thing right now. Something stinks at Uber Braun, and she seems to be at the center of it. What will you say to Olivia about all this? <sighs> yeah. I have to find a way to tell her without alarming her unnecessarily. I... As a matter of fact, if you don't mind, I... I'd like to go do that right now. Good night, David. Good night, Barb. David, are you all right? Yeah. Barbara told me what happened. She did. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry for coming here like this, but they fired me, and they're talking about pressing charges. I heard. I think they might have someone following me. 
I'm, I'm sorry. I was afraid to go home. I couldn't think of any place else to go. Look, Barbara, sit down. No, I've just, I've made things worse for you by coming here, haven't I? Forget about it. Have a seat. You did the right thing. There's no need to take any chances. So what happened after we left? Well, security had a few questions to ask me about why I would let you into Joe's lab without proper authority. Yeah, why did you? Because he was my friend. I knew he was afraid of something. David, are you in trouble over this too? The guy's a jerk. <sighs> Bobby, you think there's uh, a possibility that Granger was selling industrial secrets, some sort of corporate espionage? I don't think so. He was high up in the company. He was very well paid. Do you think he was? I have no proof either way. And you found nothing on his computer referring to Echelon? No, nothing that uh, I want to discuss right now, anyway. David, I signed a security oath at Uber Braun. There's nothing you can't discuss about this in front of me. It's a code name. Something that Granger had mentioned a couple of times. I, uh, I don't even know if it exists at this point. No, it does. It exists. You seem so certain, Barbara. How do you know? I don't. I, I don't, but he would have no reason to lie to me. He'd have a million reasons to lie to you. It's possible Granger was using the echelon as an excuse for all the money he was using. Something we'll be looking into tomorrow, but that's tomorrow. If you'll excuse me, I'm actually gonna turn in. Make yourself at home. Thank you. We should all get some rest. You don't mind. At least you'll be safe here. I'll make up the sofa for you. a couple of times. I think it's strange that she came here like this. But she's scared, dude. I would be too. Somebody I worked with and cared about was murdered. And she's lost her job. And she might be prosecuted for a violation of her security oath. What about Echelon? I mean, I'm a quality control supervisor. I know almost every detail of Uberbond's animatronics and robotics. I'm not hiding anything from you. I just don't know yet. Okay. Get some sleep.
Pacífico, Silicon, Slimmy. 500 gigos, Slimmy. I can't crack the encryption Granger used to protect his files. That's why I had to let the boys from CPB into the lab. I was hoping they'd be able to break it. And did they? I'm not sure. He was very evasive with me. I think either they didn't find it or they didn't recognize it when they did. Losing your job and your clearance is going to make your work more difficult. I'll handle it. How? They won't let you anywhere near Uberbron. Leave that to me, partner. What reason do I have to trust you now that your work is more difficult? What's to stop you from disclosing our arrangement if you're caught? I think you've thought of several ways to discourage me from disclosing our arrangement. Mm, quite right. But I didn't want to have to do that. I didn't kill Joe. And I don't want to have to kill you. The need won't arise. You seem to be forgetting I'm the one that put this deal together in the first place. I'm the one who contacted you. I'm the one who convinced Granger it was in his best interests. But there are things he never told you. I'll find those things out. Believe me, nothing's going to stop me now. I put my hand on your leg before. It was because I wanted to feel the texture of your stockings against your skin. The texture of your designer dress against those same stockings. But never forget, before you met me, you didn't have the taste for such fine things. If you succeed in getting hold of the echelon file, you'll have access to more luxury than you ever dreamt of. You haven't seen my dreams. Nago killed Granger? No. No, Granger was too important to him. Whoever killed him did it so he couldn't meet with Nagel. What do we know about Echelon? Not much more than what we heard on that tape. We believe Echelon is an attempt to modify beta-class androids in a way that would boost overall endurance and power. 
It may be an attempt to give beta androids some of the capabilities that alpha class androids are believed to possess. Don't be afraid to fill in the blanks, Farb. You're a resident android genius. I can tell you that neither Uberbron nor Recall have anything close to an adequate understanding of an alpha android's capabilities. What are you asking them for anyway, Callie? I thought the assessor's office knew everything there was to know about an alpha. He's your partner. I came to the CPP through the Special Operations Unit of the Assessor's Office, David, but I was assigned by executive order. Executive order by who? I didn't read it, David. And I can't disclose the contents. But I can say the instructions in that order revealed nothing about any special abilities Mr. Favre may or may not have, nor about his point of origin, nor anything concerning the Alpha Project. And in accordance with the order's directive, the assessor's office had made no attempt to investigate any of these things. So, <clears throat> if Uber Braun isn't protecting an Alpha Project, what are they protecting? We were only in there for a few minutes. We could use another look. Given Leland's hostility towards both of you, that's not gonna be easy. Callie? I can get you in, but that's all. It's enough. Bart, right, just give me a minute. Call home. You have reached the Hume residence. We're not home. Please leave us a message. Yep. Olivia, if Barbara shows up, do not let her in the door. And call me, okay? I'll explain later. Bye. The data we found earlier dealing with the transmission of artificial experience contains a working program. It is protected by a 50-digit private key encryption. What is that? What is a working program? My guess is that it is used to control a projection of a false image of what is actually in this lab. What you saw earlier? Some sort of cloaking device? I believe so. If that is the case, then Granger's secret lab may be right here in this room. I may have found a back door into the master image control. Ah, Dr. Granger's appointment calendar. Nice. Five dinners with Barbara last week. That is more than a couple of dates. Yes, it is. I am Dr. Joseph Granger. Since you're attempting to gain access to confidential data in my lab, in all likelihood I am dead. I warned all concerned that any attempt to betray me would be fruitless. When the timer on this monitor reaches zero, my work will no longer exist. Your clumsy attempts to discover it have failed. Can you stop that clock? I hope to. I suggest you leave the area immediately, David. I'm staying and keep doing what you're doing. Not only will my work be gone, so will this laboratory and anything and anyone still in it. There's nothing that can save you when your time runs out.
you we may safely assume, David, that this is Echelon. This is the Super Beta. This is Echelon. You obviously lied to us about Granger. When I found out he planned to sell me out to Nagel and leave me holding the bag, I thought I'd rather be the one doing the shelling. So you killed him? Damn right I killed him. He was a pig. Just like Nagel. I was good enough to plan this whole thing. I was good enough to sleep with. But I wasn't good enough to get paid, my God. You're the computer wonder. Activate the beta. I must warn you that this prototype may not function as expected. There is no record of any tests being conducted. It'll function just fine. Its circuits have been adapted to handle over 200 times the normal power level of its class. It's worth a fortune. In theory. But as there are no records of any tests, one must not assume. Just shut up and do it! It'll work just fine. It has to. Whatever Nagel promised you, it ain't worth it. Think about it. You think he's gonna need you after you give him what he wants? Let me worry about that. What's going on? What's happening to it? I'm not sure. It's drawing way too much power. Now it is offline and running on its own internal power supply. Just remember, anything goes wrong, she dies right here, in front of both of you. Easy. Barb, do whatever you have to do. Ms. Raymond, I must ask you, have you ever seen this android function? Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. All right. He took two direct hits. God. Oh, God. I am an android also, Olivia. I am an alpha, the first of my kind. I am sorry you had to find out in this way. I was hoping. Your partner? Your partner? Security, everyone free. CPB. It's okay, CPB. How could you? Olivia. 
Olivia! David. Talk to her. should have told me that Barb was an android, an alpha. That was my fault. Barb's been wanting to tell you himself for a while. No, you thought it would upset me too much. You live with these nightmares about your father. Just because something is painful doesn't mean I shouldn't know about it. Protect me from the world we live in, David. You're right. I can't. I wish I could, but I can't. I'm sorry. Doesn't mean I don't appreciate you being my protector. Come back. We should get out of the rain. Just walk with me.